Hi friends, MD Vegan. I'm making green salad today. I make it almost every day and it's, I have to say, my favorite meal. Maybe the second favorite, though. the other one is the fruit salad. My two basic meals, large meals, more or less, and the rest is snacks or whatever I like. But the greens, daily greens is really super. And here I have my Rome, uh, oak leaf lettuce today. The leaves have a little bit the shape of oak leaves, so that's why they call them like that. And it's nice. They are medium tender. A little bit firmer would be romaine. It's also very nice. The oak leaf has a more gentle flavor, a little nutty. That's very nice. And if it's not very, if it's a little bit wilted, you just put it into uh, cold water, maybe even overnight, a whole bunch, a whole. Uh, bowl full of water and it's fresh again it's crunchy that's the most important thing for such a green salad for these leafy greens they have to be crunchy uh, the, the tender leafy greens the medium tender ones that's the main main thing if they don't if they are if they are getting brown or something it tastes terrible <laughs> usually yeah. so that's the most important thing with these leaves and once you have that then you're crunchy and listen can hear it then you can make a nice salad. Yeah, that's the base. That's absolutely necessary. And here, tearing apart, that you can do that with tender leafy greens or medium tender. Just tear them apart and have this nice fluffy texture of the base of the salad. It's very easy. And the easiest thing would be just adding onions and a nice dressing. Three ingredients in my kitchen. Perfect meal. Add some potatoes or so, and you have a full meal. Very simple. Uh, uh, today, I have a trick. I found it recently. I just add cauliflower rice. Now, that's usually not in a salad, <laughs> in a green salad. Uh, it's a dish by itself. Cauliflower rice is famous. It's like rice, but raw. And it's very nice. You can also cook that, but um, I'll do that later maybe. But, um, this raw cauliflower, you know, goes a long way. This is just two florets, you see, not very big. And it goes a long way. It makes a salad filling, and raw cauliflower by itself is really filling and lasting. <clears throat> it's wonderful, nutritious. It has a little bit of flavor, sharp flavor, like cauliflower, broccoli, mustard, these kind of plants, cruciferous vegetables they're called. There's also sulforaphane, that is a very important compound that is in raw cauliflower and broccoli and all these cruciferous. And that is even cancer eating. So they're very powerful. And also nutritious, I mean, they make you full, especially cauliflower. It's a small amount, but it's enough. And it makes the salad not only filling, but also crunchy because it sits between the leaves when you make a rice. First, I'll make the rice, then I'll show you. So here's the food processor with the S blade. Fit it with the S blade, and that's the perfect tool to make cauliflower rice. You can also always um, take a grater and have cauliflower. You don't have that food processor, take a grater or a cutting board. Yeah, you could cut it in small pieces. That works, also works, yeah. But with this one, I show you, in seconds, you have a perfect rice texture. But you have to be fast, because once you over-process, it becomes sand. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> yeah, the texture is the magic of the cauliflower rice. So very quick, one blend around. If you have a small amount only, you have to be even faster. Ah, see, I, it worked. You see, this is the rice-like texture. Yeah. And it goes right on the salad leaves. The lettuce, the lettuce. Because um, it just helps the salad, the, the leaves not to stick together. It sits between them. And that's wonderful. And I, when I first tried it, I wanted to, to make just a new, uh, new variation. I always make new sun recipes to have the endless big variety to really enjoy and embrace it. So I thought, let's try cauliflower rice in the sun. Why not? Yeah. Sometimes I put also quinoa, cooked quinoa or rice or so into the salad on the bottom with the dressing on top. It's very nice with the rice or uh, the quinoa. Uh, it makes a filling meal. Uh, the salad can be a filling meal. 
Uh, I said, why not using a cauliflower rice? Why not? It's raw and it's easy to make, takes no, takes no time. Let's see. And I did, and it was so amazing because now that was a salad makes so delicious, the crunchy leaves. You got that guaranteed with the cauliflower rice. It sits between the leaves, you see here. And so the leaves don't stick together. When the leaves stick together, yeah, um, like this, it's not so nice. The texture gets... Uh, so uh, I do that here. I just toss a little bit so that the rice is everywhere. That's all it does. And it makes it a little bit filling. It's just a small amount, but it goes a long way, let's say. Very interesting, cauliflower. Get it tried. So now the rest is, is uh, usually as usual. I put tomatoes and onions, a standard combination for leafy greens, half an onion, a nice large cup of tomatoes. Tomatoes and onions are wonderful together. And then you know, I add an avocado that makes it also filling very nice with tomatoes and, on and onions. A beautiful avocado. You can never go wrong. And today, parsley, a sour green flavor, a little peppery too. Just a small amount, not too much. Chopped up, put it on top, be happy. Green herbs are among the healthiest food we have, so it's a green salad. Put the parsley on top. What can you ask for? So I always have a little bit of a different combination. This I have never made before. Um, and so the plan is uh, to add more and more ingredients, more and more plants to my menu over the year. We have the healthiest diet, whole food plant-based diet with a variety. That's the best you can do. Science catches up with that more and more. They understand how important it is to have different plants. Uh, and here, here we go. This is the dressing. Uh, you can also vary the dressing. This is a called a garlic cashew dressing, I call it. Not too much. Or just a little bit. And as I have a tender leafy green, I will wait before I toss it because once I toss it, I have to eat it right away. The tender leafy greens, they want to be eaten immediately. So I wait, not to mash it, to be a little bit tricky. If you do that wrong, a little too early tossing it, then you also mash the cells. It, it, it loses its luster, its beauty, its crunch. It has to be fresh. So right before eating, toss it and then you are lucky. You get a good, a good salad. That's very easy to make. You have to do some, have to know some tricks to get it right, but it's not difficult. I have a wonderful uh, green salad every day. That's one of my favorite meals. The dressing is called a garlic cashew dressing. There's another video. It's linked under this one. I show you how to make it. But it's very simple. You don't need to rehearse the video even. It's just cashews and garlic a lot, then lemon, pepper and salt. And water. It's very easy. Blend it up, have the dressing. Make it thicker, thinner, as you like, more or less garlic, more or less salt, more or less pepper, more or less lemon. Everything you can change. It's very easy. I like it with a lot of garlic this time and a little bit runnier because of the tender leafy green. Nice and runny. Also the cauliflower rice likes it also runny, so you can always change a little bit. It's a very versatile dressing. Garlic cashew dressing. Check it out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like, like my video, subscribe and TV on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and X.